very good morning my dear friends and in today's video we are going to work out a problem on a hexagonal lamina having side 30 mm which is touching HP by one of the corners HP by one of the corners while the opposite corner touches VT so this is a problem on a hexagonal lamina when one of the side is touching HP, it is on HP, whereas the opposite side is on VP. Friends, it is very obvious that whenever any lamina is stretching HP by one corner, R1 by side, in both the top and front views, you are going to get the distorted shape of that particular lamina. Friends, in today, let us see the statement of the problem, a hexagonal lamina of side 30 mm touches HP by one of its corners. So you have to analyze the problem one by one. So we have a hexagonal lamina, the side of that is given to be 30 mm. He says it is resting on one of the corners on HP. So friends, when they say it is resting on a corner, we have to keep the lamina on HP such that one of the corners of the lamina will come to your left side and obtain the top view a regular hexagon of 30 mm side and front view a line on XY. So friends, I am going to construct a hexagon below the XY line with a corner coming to our left. Friends, this is the hexagonal lamina we have got, which has got a side 30 mm and one of the corners is to your left. So I will call this as the corner. So let me label the corners. This is A, B, C, D, E and E. Friends, we have got the lamina placed on HP with one of the corners A coming to the left side of the observers and we obtain the corresponding front view. Very obviously the front view is going to be a line on XY. So friends, I am going to extend all these lines one by one and obtain the corresponding front view, a line on this. So I just project lines from all these corners from A, B, C, D, E, etc. and obtain the print view a line on xy and the, this will just number it as a dash the last one is d dash b, b and f come together so we'll call this as b dash comma f dash this is c dash comma e dash friends this line on xy represents a hexagonal face resting on hp because this line has got six points on this A, B, F, C, E and D. Now the lamina is in total contact with the horizontal plane. He says it has to make an angle of 40 degrees with HP. Friends, whenever any lamina makes an angle with HP, that can be seen in the print view. So friends, I am going to redraw this print view, the line, say it has got a length m, which can be measured, it is now parallel to HP, it is on HP. I am going to redraw this line a dash d dash at an angle of 40 degrees to HP. So I will take some point at random, draw a line here of length is equal to m. So this will have a length m and this length m and this are the same. The point A is here A dash, the opposite end is D dash. We have B, F, etc. We can just take the measurement and transfer it to this. So we have got here B dash, F dash. Similarly from the other end we have got C dash, E dash. And this angle we have taken is 
40 degree that is to say the surface of the lamina is making an angle of 40 degrees with HP. Friends, corresponding to this front view, let us obtain the top view. So, how to obtain this? How to get these points one by one? So, write a vertical line from A, a horizontal line from here. The point where those two intersect is point A. Likewise, D, vertical line from D, horizontal line from D. The point of intersection of these two will be view D. Similarly, on this F and E line, so horizontal from F, vertical from F will give you this point F. And here, similarly, if you draw a vertical line from E to touch that, you will get this point E. So this is F, this is E. And on the same lines, you are going to get the other two corners, namely B and C. Vertical line from C, continued there. And again from this E, friends, you are going to get A, B, C, D, E, F. The six corners of the lamina, which is inclined at 30 degrees to HP. So join all these by straight line. F to E, A to F, A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E. Friends, you have got the corresponding top view of the lamina. When the surface is making an angle of 40 degrees with the HP. Friends, in the question he says, the lamina is resting on a corner with the surface making 40 degrees with HP, but the corner D has to touch the vertical plane. So friends, I am going to redraw this figure such that this corner D, which is opposite to A, touches this. So what happens whenever the point is on VP, a corner on VP, its top view is seen here. So I should get D here. Hence, I am going to redraw this figure here with AD becoming vertical and D touching this. So how to obtain this when AD is vertical? Friends, what do we do here? We are going to enclose this figure, the top view, in a box. I will call that box as PQRS. So PQRS is the box in which the top view of the inclined lamina is obtained. So I will call it as PQR. Yes, this arrangement is made to redraw this very easily here. So friends, this D has to be on XY. So I am going to redraw this. Rotate this through an angle of through an angle that is AD becoming vertical. So friends, this dimension I will draw here. So box I am going to construct here. And D should be on that. So here D should touch. So if you mark PQRS, this is D is an SR. So yes, R, this is P and this is Q. Friends, here in this rectangle, which is copied here, that D is exactly in between S and R. So I will locate that. This point is going to be the point D, which is on the VP. Because the point is stretching VP, hence it is seen as a point in the top view. Friends, other side of this D will have this point A. So exactly if you write a vertical line from there, it will cut here. And this point is going to be A. A. So, AD which was parallel before has become vertical with D touching the vertical plane. Friends, it is very easy to get other points like F, E, C and B. They are all equidistant from the corners. For example, if you take this B, it is on QB near to Q. QB, Q. B is near to B. So you get a point here. 
same distance you can mark here similarly if you extend this line get this point so friends you have got a this is going to be point b this is going to be point c d this is e and f so you have got all the six corners of the lamina which is rotated through 90 degree keeping b on this so friends let me join all the by straight line so i am going to join d to e d to c e and f f and a b and a and finally b and c friends you have got the top view redrawn with the ad becoming vertical and d touching the xy line friends once you have the top view the final top view you can very easily obtain the corresponding final frame view of the lamina so let us start with these points one by one so let us say a draw a horizontal through a dash a vertical through a dash point where those two touch is your point a so a i am going to get here or a dash you can call similarly d horizontal from d Aligned on parallel to x y, vertical from B, they will meet here. So exactly above this, you will have the point D. That is D dash. Similarly, friends, on this you will have C and E. So C and E, vertical from C, horizontal from here. This point will give you C dash. On the other side of C, you will have E of of coming on this yeah, this point is e of dash similarly friends b and f will lie on this so let's get those points b and f so friends this is going to be f here f you got already e you will get b and f on this sorry this is a dash and uh, this is a dash this is uh, let me mark it here to avoid confusion so this is a dash this is b dash c dash d dash this should be f sorry this has to be e dash and finally this point is f dash so we have got all the six corners in the print view we join them by straight line so i am going to join a to b b to c c to d d to e e to f f to a friends we have got all the six corners and this figures a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash f dash a distorted hexagon will give you the final print view of the lamina this a b c d e is the final top view of the lamina friends you can just verify whether the solution you have got for the question asked is right and right or wrong how to check that friend the it is stretching hp by one of the corner so a is the corner a dash is the front view and a is the top view for that because a is on hp the corner opposite to that is stretching vp so opposite to that corner is d dash d dash is seen above xy because it's stretching vp and its top view is on this line friends this is the complete solution or the final solution for the question that is asked. I hope uh, you are happy with the presentation. Please share this information with all your friends. Have a wonderful day. Thank you very much.